UNRWA opens an investigation of Israel. The Biden administration expands the ferocity of its attacks against Israel with Benny Guns getting caught in the crosshairs during an unauthorized visit to Washington, D.C. this week. I'll have all of that and some thoughts about the new era that we're living in coming up on In Focus. This morning, we woke up to the news uh, that UNRWA, the UN organization that's supposed to be in charge of giving humanitarian assistance to the Palestinians in Gaza and Judea and Samaria, Jerusalem, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and beyond, is uh, opening up an investigation of Israel. Julia Tuma, UNRWA's spokesperson, said that UNRWA is opening up an investigation because its peoples that are jailed in Israeli prisons are saying that they're being subjected to torture. All I can say to that is boo-hoo. Why did she come out with this statement this morning? Well, last night, uh, IDF uh, spokesman, Brigadier General Daniel Hagari, gave some startling new information about UNRWA employees. And I think that the information makes conclusively the point that I've been arguing for many weeks, which is that UNRWA is not a terror-adjacent organization. It is not aligned with Hamas. It is Hamas. There is literally no distinction between where UNRWA begins and Hamas ends. In the in his press briefing yesterday, uh, Brigadier General, or actually he's a Rear Admiral, uh, Daniel Hagari, uh, brought a call between two Hamas operatives, one of whom, his name is Yusuf Zaidan Suleiman Hawajra, is a, is a elementary school teacher at one of the UNRWA schools in Gaza. In the conversation, I'm just going to play you a short clip of it. Hawajra is talking to his friend about the fact that they kidnapped Israeli women in and brought them back to Gaza. And they're laughing and, and exulting in the fact that they have kidnapped Israeli women. And it's not just that they kidnapped Israeli women as hostages. If you recall, a couple months ago, I think it was, I spoke with Islamic expert Dr. Moti Kedar, who was talking about how they view Israeli captives as property, as chattel, that they can do with whatever they want. This is how jihadists view uh, non-Muslims who they take captive in war, in a jihad, in a holy war for Islamic imperialism. And they refer to the Israeli female captives as sabaya. And what Hagari explains is that sabaya is the term that the ISIS uh, terrorists used to describe the Yazidi women that they took captive, that they that they systematically raped and enslaved and used as sex slaves. So they're calling our women, our daughters, Sabaya. Okay, and I'm just going to play you a short clip. Hassan. I think anybody who has daughters, anybody who knows a woman, um, any woman who listens to that tape has to understand what we're dealing with here. And of course, it took the New York Times two months until dece- late December to even acknowledge the massive scale of the sex crimes and the UN women has only acknowledged it officially uh, yesterday. At any rate, uh, leaving aside that fact, 
uh, in his briefing, Hagari went on and said uh, he gave the names of many, many other UNRWA employees, school teachers, social workers, school advisors who engaged in terrorism on October 7th, who participated in the slaughter, in the burning, in the rape, in the abduction of Israelis uh, that day that led to the murder of 1,200 Israelis, the captivity of 246 Israelis, and the wounding of thousands more Israelis, uh, the overrunning of over 50 Israeli communities, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So he said in this briefing that 450, 450 UNRWA employees were active terrorists that so were either involved on October 7th or uh, have subsequently engaged in terrorism on behalf of Hamas and Islamic Jihad in the war in Gaza. So this is not terror aligned. This is not terror facilitating. This is a terrorist organization. It is funded by the nations of the world. Now it's been defunded by some of them, but it has to be shut down. If you're opposed to terrorism, then you have to want UNRWA to be shut down. And, and it's actually convenient in a way that UNRWA is saying, okay, now we're going to open an investigation against Israel because it's just like, you know, it, it's not even the cat protecting the cream. It, this is literally uh, exactly what they're doing on college campuses all over the world, which is, say, it, which is inverting reality and saying that Israel is committing genocide when we're defending against a genocidal enemy, which is a whole of a society enemy, that this is the mass, pop, uh, mass participation of regular uninvolved Gazans, right, civilians, in the invasion of Israel. It was led by Hamas, but but thousands of Gazans participated in it, and thousands more continued to give sukkah support. And the first among those are the officials of UNRWA, which again is just, it's not adjacent to Hamas, it is Hamas.